to my mom right here. Okay, she's my uncle. But, you know, we're just picking up the Yeezys right now. She want me to seven hundred. Look at that. My mom is a winner, bro. She stay winning, man. Just gotta love that. All right, y'all. So we back in the crib now. What y'all saw earlier was me and my mom picking up the Yeezy 700 V1 Boost in the classic wave running colorway. So big shout out to Mom Dukes for winning that in-store reservation. And it's literally funny because I just came off of a flight from vacation. And as you guys can see, I am a bit more tanned and I'm kind of peeling a little bit right here because I thought I was too cool for sunscreen. But you know it is what it is on that. And I'm just excited to get this to y'all. So let's just get right into it, all right? I'm not gonna go over any of the box details. We have our standard Yeezy Boost box. We just have a 700 on the top of the box and then you can see the Boost on this side of the box. And basically the only thing that I'm gonna mention is the fact that I actually went a half size up on this. So I did get these in an eight and a half. I do have the 2018 restock of this pair. So that's just something to note. But the mistake that I made during that time was that I went true to size. So the toe box did fit me pretty tight. But I'm assuming since I got this in an eight and a half, it won't be a problem. So Let's just get right into it, guys. So once you open this box, we have the star of the show. And I have to say that this shoe is still beautiful, man. The only thing that I would have to make a note on is the fact that it looks like there are some quality control issues. Nothing too huge. If you actually look at some of the 3M orange boost holes right here, you can kind of see that it's a little painted over the lines that it's supposed to be within. So I'm more than likely going to compare it to my 2018 pair, but that's just something to note. So if we actually turn it around right here, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to catch that, but there is some paint dripping off the side of that, but it's not a huge deal man it's not like there's like a bunch of glue stains everywhere so overall i think it's fine but there's just a little bit of quality control issues nothing crazy but yeah guys again overall a pretty beautiful shoe so this is the shoe that started the dad shoe resurgence and if you guys didn't know before 2017 and 2018 people really didn't like dad shoes unless he was in your 40s or 50s like all the young kids hated it including me i'm not even gonna lie to y'all i did not like the dad shoes at all but ever since this shoe came out Every brand has been stepping up their dad shoe game from Nike to Adidas, obviously, and even New Balance. But New Balance, to be fair, they are the king of dad shoes. I think they always will be. Back when I was in like third grade, I used to wear some old New Balances, like super dad shoes. They, I don't remember the name of it, but it was the one that resembles the Nike Air Monarch. And it's basically the same exact shoe, but just with New Balance branding. It's all white and it had some navy blue hits all over it, like just very small, subtle hits. And the laces were also white. I think I got those shoes from Payless, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, that was a long time ago. And now, as you can see, that shape, that kind of model has been taken over like tremendously. And ever since this dropped in November of 2017, Kanye has gotten stronger and stronger with his dad shoe model. From going from this, from the 700 V1s to going to the static 700 V2s. And as you guys saw in my previous review, I love those statics. They're just a beautiful shoe. And I think those are the best overall Yeezy 700s. And I mean, this is in the top three as well. I think it's this, the Wave Runner, the Izel 700 V3, and the Static V2s. Those three to me are definitely the top three 700s. But you guys let me know what you also think about the Yeezy 700s. Did you like them at first? Did you think they were ugly? Did they grow over time on you? Well, definitely let me know because I love when y'all comment and I get to engage with y'all because I have a lot of sneakerheads who be tuning in. And some of y'all be schooling me, so I appreciate that because the more information I have, the more information I can give out to all of my current subscribers and my new subscribers. So again, definitely appreciate y'all for pushing the algorithms as well as being involved in this community. And we just going to keep getting stronger and stronger. Like I always say, man, I appreciate y'all a lot. But anyways, focusing more on the history and the details of the shoe, guys, if you didn't know, this released in November 2017. And this is actually the sixth restock since it came out since 2017. So I think it restocked twice in 2018, once in 2019, and then once in 2021, and then now in 2022. So it definitely restocked a couple of times. So if you haven't been able to catch it, you guys should have caught it by now because it's been pretty much restocked so many times. And again, the resale isn't too crazy on it. I think it's going over maybe just over 70 to $100 over retail. So to me, that's not pretty bad. And again, with a conversation that I had with a community member, they actually mentioned to me how the 700 V1s are actually the less quality version compared to the V2s. So the V2s actually use more premium materials. So that is something that I did get wrong on my static 700 V2 video two weeks ago. But again, that still kind of piggybacks to my point of Kanye being able to lower the 700 V1 price. However, the OG model still has to stay at the $300 mark. I don't think that makes pretty much any sense since you were able to get 
very similar colorways in the same silhouette to 240 so that's just a little gripe of mine again especially with it restocking so many times i do believe that they should be able to knock the price down on this og model man but you know again a small issue for me the money's not the problem but there are people out there who really want to shoot but can't afford it so that's just something to know guys but anyways now focusing on the entire upper of the shoe remember that i mentioned earlier that it is completely inspired by the dad silhouette i mean kanye has been honest about it and you know it's just a very beautiful model guys at first i didn't like all the colors that was going around but if you actually look at it as a whole everything just matches together even with the neon green laces when i first saw it in 2017 i thought kanye was going mad but i do see the vision now and i think everybody can agree that that was pretty much the same case there were some early adopters who loved the model off rip but you know i definitely wasn't one of them i had to wait basically the next year to realize how awesome they were so next one looking at the toe box area we have some gray new book right here and then we also have a light blue mesh and then if you actually look closer right there we have a 3m eyelet that holds onto the lime green laces then when we look at the lateral and medial sides you can actually see that we have some teal accents which again makes the shoe pop even more and then surrounding that is these black new book hits right here which is pretty cool man and then when we actually look at the midsole i'm going to focus on this midsole for a second because the boost technology on the shoe is not as much as the 350s or the 350 v2s or any of those models however i do like it more than a traditional 350 because it gives you more firmness and the three 50 itself is just very squishy which again is super comfortable but me personally i do like when it's comfortable but it also has a firmness and i think other than the 700s new balance got that on lock with every model that they have like they don't make very jelly squishy shoes but they have the super ultra comfortable midsoles and to me new balance definitely has that on lock then when we actually focus more into the midsole we have some 3m orange hits as i mentioned earlier then we have this kind of cream white midsole which is pretty clean in my opinion then we have some extra waves coming out of the shoe and this is not new buck or anything it's just painted onto the pattern to kind of give it more of a pop as well then when we focus back onto the upper we have some 3m hits right here which just adds a pop and it's surrounded by that same new buck as i mentioned earlier and then we have some strips of leather that starts from the 3m hit and surrounds all the way across the eyelids and then when going back onto the eyelids now we have those lime green laces that at first i did not like but now i definitely see the vision next when we go more towards the top of the shoe we have another 3m eyelet right there and then when we go into the top of the tongue tag we have our mesh tab right there then going on to the back of the heel now we just have some standard suede and mesh paneling right here however if you pay attention to those dots this is actually 3m which is pretty clean as well and when we focus on to the medial side of the shoe it's pretty much the same thing something that i did forget to mention is the fact that we have some very subtle three stripes right there and you can't really see it in normal lighting however if you hit it with a flashlight the three stripes pop out pretty much and i really love that detail because if you did not know kanye made the shoe if you did not know adidas made the shoe you would not know it's an adidas sneaker at all you would just think it's some random shoe and that's really what makes this shoe super fire because it separates itself from the adidas brand while still being an adidas product and i love that about kanye and all of his silhouettes overall now when going on to the outsole of the shoe we have pretty much the same thing that was on the v2 review so all the areas that's in black we have our traction patterns and then in those white areas we have our boost material which is pretty clean so finally when we go into the insole now you can actually see that we have some adidas and easy branding right there and just for comparison purposes i'm going to bring out the other shoe so as you guys can see in my left hand is the brand new 2021 restock pair and then on my right hand which is a little bit dirty it's not super cooked but it's still dirty we have the 2018 restock pair which again has held up pretty well with the age of time i mean on the suede and the midsole it's a little bit dirty but overall it's held up pretty well there is some paint chipping off and stuff on the left pair i believe but that's because like i ran into stuff and it got like damaged but overall it's a pretty durable sneaker in my opinion so definitely if you are going to spend your hard on money i do think you're going to get a lot of words with this shoe so guys that's going to conclude the overall review and the details of the shoe so let's get right into this on for look at it
child. So that's going to conclude the review as well as the awful look. And I really hope that you all enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. It was a really fun process and I'm just happy to get back from vacation and get straight to these bangers, man. This sneaker right here is a banger. I don't care if anybody calls it a brick or whatever, but the history that the shoe has and the inspiration that it led to for these past couple of years, what was that, 2017 to 2022, five years, this sneaker has had a lock on a sneaker game. Like from it upgrading itself to three different versions of itself, from other regular brands and designer brands trying to copy and get that same feeling like Balenciaga and some others, I believe that the Yeezy 700s and New Balance have the dad shoe unlock. Like it's no question from a comfortability perspective and from a look perspective, even if it can get a little wacky at times, I think they are the best of the best. So guys, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to share with your friends and your family. Be sure to smash that like button. I see what y'all been doing for the algorithms and helping my channel grow. So I am extremely grateful for all of y'all, my subscribers, my non-subscribers, and the people who are subbing right now. I'm grateful for y'all too. So thank you for pushing my algorithms and making everything work. So other than that, y'all, I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.